allow me to formally introduce myself. This is Pangolin Advisor, and I'll be your captain on this flight. I am currently joined by a big cup of Evergrey tea, and I am here to slay all who will dare stand in my path to whatever the goal was, to win against the oncoming orange ships. I honestly, it has been a long time since I played FTR. I don't quite remember the story, other than the fact that you're running away and then you're killing, so... That's just my kind of game. Honestly, any kind of space game where you get to be the captain is my game, but FTO, it reminds me of Star Trek, except you get to be the captain. And it's pretty much all I could ask for, really. So with that in mind, let us pick our ship for the tonight. I've got quite a few ships unlocked, but not all of them, as you can see. Shameful display, truly. But unfortunately, as it turns out to be, well, I am not the worst at FTL. I didn't get around to getting some of those ships. It is quite tricky to get some of them. I mean, let us be real. Anyway, actually, this should be relatively easy. Just use Castro, Castro Cruiser Type B. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Let's go ahead and try this. But I was originally planning on playing using the most stylish and the classic ship possible, since I am going to be drinking Earl Grey on this uh, journey. So I was kind of thinking about Stealth Cruiser, but maybe I get, I'll get to unlock Castro Cru Cruiser Type C. That would be fun. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and go for the Type B. That is somewhat classic, but not as classic as Type A at the very least. We're going to be called... Hmm, let's see... HMS Pangolin, cause uh, I am a pangolin. And uh, find... actually, no, 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 no. I like Star Trek too, uh, too much. USS Pangolin, that's way better, thank you. And with that in mind, let us rename our, f uh, our crew real quick. So, first of all, I'm going to have my lovely little captain that's going to be, let's see... We're a pangolin, are the very least I am, so that is going to be Brains, that's going to be the captain, he's doing the captaining. Next up we've got somebody who's going to take care of our shields, that is most likely going to be... Well, the Mantis is probably not the best one to put at shields, but I suppose a Mantis will do, so you're going to be called Scales, which is also somewhat fitting for a Mantis. Next up, somebody to take care of uh, our actual weapon systems. I suppose this could be a Zoltan, so let's have him there and he's going to be called Klaus. And finally, we can, we're going to have Lex, who is going to take care of our engines. And with that in mind, we've got four basic lasers. That's somewhat boring, but I'm sure it's going to get real interesting real fast. Let's enable hard mode because that is the real way to play this game. And uh, let us start our adventure. Sally forth and uh, save the Federation. Honestly, I don't care that much about saving. I just want to kill the mothership at the end of it all. Will I be able to do so? Who knows? Am I going to enable auto-fire? I remember there was an incentive to not activate auto-fire, I... But right now there is no reason to not activate auto-fire. Later down the line this would be a good idea to do so, but right now... Let's go ahead and shift our path from the med bay to our engines, since we don't need to heal up anybody. I don't remember those two buttons being there, I suppose the game was updated it at some point, probably when Into the Breach was launched. Anyway, with that in mind, there isn't much else I need to do. I am very tempted to depressurize some of my rooms, but that is unnecessary for the time being. The first few sectors should be relatively peaceful, so with that in mind, let us go ahead and officially start our adventure, jump to our very first system. So, there's our exit, that is where we need to go to leave this sector. I don't think I need to explain how this game works to anyone, but the way I'm going to play it right now is probably I'm going to move to a nebula to disrupt, uh, to make the enemy fleet pursuit slower and allow me to explore more systems, then I'll probably hug the right side of the screen and head for the exit. So, 
Let's make our first jump of the day. Immediately into a danger that is not a lot of power I get to work with, but that should be okay, maybe. So, I arrived in the middle of a plasma storm and a rebel scout seems to be waiting for me. So, let us uh, pause for a second. I currently have no engine subsistence. I could... Let's see, the enemy is using some beam weaponry, so I definitely want my shields up. So I want to keep this up. I can have some of my engines up, but Maximum Firepower is the name of the game right now, so let's focus fire on the enemy shields. Actually, it doesn't look like the enemy is powering up their beam, but the enemy basic laser, it should be able to punch through our shields, so it should be an easy fight right there. Let's open the fire with everything we've got. Nicely done, then disable the enemy weapon systems and put some more power into our own Okay, I was able to disable the enemy I was able to disable all the enemy weapon systems so I can increase the power of my own And let's start targeting the enemy, let's say Let's target the enemy, the enemy everything. That seems like a good idea. There's no reason to prioritize anything any longer as the enemy is lying in scraps. Wonderful, this is what we like to see. I do need to enable engines in order to get out of here and probably want to have shoots ready for the next sector, so... So, with that in mind, I can just go ahead and move. I forgot that Zoltan is powering this basic laser, so this will always stay powered. Very well, I don't mind one laser always being powered. Let's... Oh, there is a stall. But I don't have enough scrap to really make good use of the stall, so let us ignore it and be on our way. Another plasma storm and intruders on board. This is not the best, but I do have a mantis, so it could be okay. Let's see where the enemy is, and let's actually open all of the doors, aside from the doors in my oxygen area, because I don't want to take too much damage, and I want to make sure that the enemy is out of here, and is forced to come to me and fight in a territory where I can comfortably heal up regain health and this border in action is truly pitiful and has no chance of succeeding wonderful and another victory for our glorious sh uh, ship and our crew as well of course let us get oxygen back and make sure that i'll keep getting oxygen back once i get my crew back to their saved positions thank goodness they are saved by default because i forgot to save them initially and by now our oxygen should be equalized, so I suppose I might as well close the doors, disable the healing... Wait, I do need to enable the healing bay because three of my members are actually kinda injured. So let's make sure they are healing up. Wait, that's the oxygen bay! That's why they weren't healing. I knew there was something off. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose I'm not as good of a captain as I was in my younger years. But this will be still quite fine. I'm sorry. If you heard that noise, that was me, or rather my L Grey bottle. Anyway, let's return to our positions. Get the energy off of the med bay, enable our engines, and be on our merry way towards the right sand side of the galaxy. Let's go over here first, since I probably will not be able to explore this area anytime at any point in the future. So let's go there first and then start going south, if there is a south in space. Hmm, I could get a slave and a Zoltan crew member is always worthwhile. Wow. And there's no way I can actually attack uh, the slavers and capture the ships since I have no teleporters. But maybe they'll offer me a slave for free once I declare the attack. And I don't have that much scrap either. This might be a mistake. It might be better to buy a slave. But you know what? We don't take kindly to slavers. So let us power all weapons and uh, target the enemy everything. The enemy does have missiles, they are terrifying and they will be the primary target for our fire. And I need to take care of the enemy shields as well since the shields will be able to take on... Wait a second, let's not auto fire just yet. I need to make sure that all of my weapons are actually charged up and... Well, never mind, they auto fired. Be actually, I did tell them to fire, technically speaking. Alright, let's wait until they are synchronized for best efficiency. And, well, I lost one of my weapons already, that is unfortunate, but Zoltan should be able to fix it in just a moment. So now I can just freely continue firing. 
Let's disable the enemy oxygen supply so they are forced to repair it. And now they offer a slaver for free and this is a new type of slave as well so I'll just accept the offer. This is what I was going after all along. So this rock person, I suppose I might as well let him operate the doors that will allow me to make sure they stay closed in if the enemy tries to do some boring shenanigans. I'm kind of tempted to swap him with scales to be entirely honest. Let's go ahead and do that. The reason why I don't want Scales to be on the engine duty is because Scales is really pathetic at repairing stuff. Because he is a Mantis. And, well, this guy, he doesn't have any penalties or bonuses to repairing, so he's gonna do just fine. Also, this will put him right next to the healing bay, and he is quite slow after all, so we don't want him to be far away from it. Let's make another jump, and I can see the Rebel fleet arriving real fast, so... Do you want to dock with the refueling platform? Might as well. Let's see. The platform seems to be malfunctioning and could ignite at any moment. I don't necessarily need to refuel that badly, so let's just go ahead and pull away. And alright, it imploded. That is... alright, I dodged the bullet there. Claus is apparently injured, that is an issue. Let's go ahead and make sure that he is healed up real quick. And get him back on the weapons duty. Get the uh, get our shields up online and start moving along again as I take my very first sip of tea. Hmm, actually first of all, you receive a hail from a station orbiting a nearby planet. Captain, we are Federation Terraforming Team C12 and we are in need of assistance. Do you have some time? I could offer them my assistance, and indeed I will, let's see what they want. Thank you, we need to scan this planet for life before we can begin terraforming, but our sensors can't get the necessary power to scan for the atmosphere. We've got a schedule to keep, any chance I can help? Well, I do have a Zolt and crew member, so let us overcharge our systems, and uh, this revealed a simple mode as the only life present. The terraformers claim their terraforming plants are only hindered by intelligent life, they can begin their work. Do I claim that any life is valuable or do I leave them to their work? Honestly, I am going to go ahead and claim that any life is valuable. Pangolins, after all, are often considered not to be intelligent, but they are adorable, so they are valuable. But our livelihood depends on this job. Who cares about some city mode? We'll pay you to look, for, to look the other way. So, I could change my virtues and get rich. I could pay them to study the mode, or I could power my weapons and demand they leave at once. I really like the third option, but I'm going to go ahead and be a nice... I mean, the mode maybe is just a mode on the outside, but inside it could be a pangolin. Maybe dreams to be a pangolin. Let's pay those people off. So this upgraded my oxygen systems. That is not a bad thing. This will allow the oxygen systems to take a little bit of damage before it starts breaking down. This is pretty good, honestly. And uh, very well. They're going to do that. They upgraded my oxygen system. Not a bad deal for 50 scrap. Not the best, but I feel like role playing a little bit. And uh, Sin the Frash Trash, I'm sorry, asks me how come I'm streaming so late. I just cannot sleep, so I might as well. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. I'll deal with the distress call in a second, I'm sure they will be fine for a minute. And before I do anything, I feel like I should update the information on Twitch, since I feel like I am roleplaying a little bit. So let's see, let's look for roleplay, there we go, let's add that to the tags. Excellent, updating information, drinking a little bit of tea as well. Hmm. That is absolutely delicious hot Earl Grey action right there. Mm. Oh, I love tea so much, I'm addicted. I'm absolutely addicted. At any rate, there's a black market hub here. I receive a message, these are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we will gladly pay you for them. Well, I could sell them my missiles and seeing how I don't have any missile launchers, I don't see the reason not to do that. Let us support the black market 
and be on my way. I still have plenty of time before the enemy arrives. Right? Well, let's go to the stress signal first. They might be in actual distress situation. Let's see if I can ad help them. And uh, that was a trap! Where is Admiral Akbar when you need him? Let us... Oh, hold on a second, they've got a drone. Oh, they only have beam weapons. There's literally nothing they can do against me. Lovely. Well, let's charge our weapons and the first thing I'm going to fire upon is their oxygen supplies and also their helm so that they cannot, under any circumstances, run away. So that is wonderful. Alright, so now they offer me some of the cargo if I let them live. This is a pretty good haul and a lot of fuel. I am going to accept that offer, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad to see I'm not the only one who cannot sleep. Well, let's just keep it to ourselves as I clear the galaxy of all life. Another distress signal, but this would be fairly risky. Since it is quite far away from any area, from any jump points I can use to get to the exit. I'm sorry people, I'm afraid you're on your own. This is a risk I am not willing to take. I will go a little bit backwards, I still have some time before I need to run. Let us see, another rebel checkpoint is monitoring this location. A number of civilian ships are awaiting inspection. Any of them could be a Federation loyalists. The rebels haven't noticed me yet. I can fend for myself, attack and escape, I can bribe them, or I can stay out of the way and charge my FTO drive. I am too bloodthirsty for that, thank you very much. Let us attack and escape. The enemy has some high-grade weapon systems. Let's target all of, their any all of their weapons with my own, and I should be able to come out on top, although their weapons are somewhat scary, I will not deny that. But I was able to disable them quite handily. Let's change the priority to their engines and their helm as well. Turn off their O2. And their everything is now pretty trashed. Excellent, I'll drink some tea as I watch this ship burn. Actually, I will not watch it burn, I will let it live. That is excellent. The aggressive get richer as I continue on my late night adventure and encounter yet another enemy. For the very first region this sure is a dangerous sector. Once I arrive my screen lights up with warnings, a nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down my engines. My crew manages to keep them barely operational and I move into attack. Wonderful. Well, there is no reason to divert power, but I might as well have the oxygen work super well. The enemy has a cloning bay, nothing to worry about. The enemy weapon systems are quite advanced, but three volleys from my lasers should be able to take them off. Should be a relatively easy fight. They did fire a rocket though, and I have taken a little bit of damage, but Nothing I shouldn't be able to handle, thankfully. And the enemy ship is destroyed in just two volleys. I have taken a bit of hull damage, but this is fine. With the pirate ship destroyed, my ship's systems are restored to full functionality. I salvaged what I can from the debris. Just the way like it's 69 scrap. The favorite position for pangolins. Maybe. Actually, they do kind of walk like T-Rex, so... Who knows, considering their legs it might actually be true. I believe I have enough time to make uh, to visit three more points of interest, so let's go ahead and jump into another location. Is another battle awaiting us? Yes it is. Everybody is trying to kill us. So let's just open fire. Fire everything I can, except for one weapon that will target the enemy helm. The enemy has no shields, this should be just a bloodbath right there. Excellent, another easy fight, and as much as I want to take one more sip of the Earl Grey, honestly if I do I'll run out of it way too fast and I want to avoid that uh, if at all possible. Let's jump to one more location and maybe I'll be able to visit one other location before I need to jump. Another ship! This first sector is just crawling with hostiles. 
Soon after arriving in the system, I am hailed by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run into each other. Nothing personal, kid, but we have some information we need. No, actually, I have no information whatsoever. I'm just a pangolin. I came to eat termites. And you are a termite in my mind. Because you're just so small and insignificant. I will destroy you with my superior weapons. Maybe. I almost got hit by the missile, but don't worry about it. It should be fine. Actually, I can probably change priorities of my weapons. Well, the enemy is still somewhat up. That is impressive. Let's keep firing at their shields and try to disable their helm. They're charging up their FTO, but they have nobody at the helm. And if I destroy the helm, that would be a non-issue anyway, so this should be fun. And the enemy has been destroyed. Excellent. That doesn't yield us too many rewards, but oh, that is good enough for me. And yeah, I need to get to the exit right now. This is the last call for me. Let's get there. And let's get out of here. And I just realized I didn't have full power of my engines. When I arrive at this long range beacon, no, I arrived at the long range beacon, and when the FTL drive is charged, I can jump to the next sector. As soon as I arrive, I receive a Federation encrypted message. A rebel ship has been terrorizing the local civilians in the system, and I need and I'm asked to seek and destroy it. Let's do that. I'm about to run away and defeat pursuit. Really doesn't matter, they are going to reach this location this turn anyway. So let's pause real briefly because I forgot to divert full power into my engines. The enemy does have a teleportation bay, which is a bit troubling, but not necessarily an issue. Let's keep our standard tactics and it should be fine. I wonder where the enemy would teleport to. They are going to teleport to the helm. Well, I'll set scales to deal with the intruder, it should be just fine. As a drink more tea. I'm sorry, I cannot help myself. I really have to do this. It's just too delicious not to drink. Hmm. That is a really bad offer. I feel like if I just murder everybody on the enemy ship, I might get better co out of this stuff. I will not accept surrender. I will kill every life sign on this ship, and there's no way you can stop me from doing that. And let's see if uh, me being merciless was worthwhile. The answer is not quite. But I suppose I cannot always make the good decision, and to be entirely honest, it is fun to watch the enemy ship burn from time to time. Actually, all the time. <laughs> Very well, with that in mind, I can turn off uh, the Healy Bay and move on to the next sector. I've got the civilian sector and engine control. Neither of them particularly interest me, but both of them are suitable. I'm looking for hostile sectors early on and the peaceful sectors later on. So the south side seems like a better bet if I want to guarantee victory. Besides, engine control is always more interesting than, an, uh, than just a single civilian sector, so let us go over the Man, I have a lot of fuel and a lot of missiles. Not that I need the missiles. Either way, I arrived in energy space. They have soothing music that is uh, blissful to hear too. And the fall of the Federation has brought tough ties to these robotic life forms, but they are usually willing to help. I don't need their help. But I will gladly accept it nonetheless. Let's see if they can upgrade my claws so they can reach deeper and faster. I follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid field, belt, whatever. I find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Let us hail them and offer assistance. Their shields are down and they won't last long. I can shield them or I can not shield them. A true pangolin shields their young with the superior hide. Truthfully, I don't have any superior hide. And my hull is going to take quite a bit of damage as a result of this. But I am a hero. That was not worthwhile. The enemy ship breaks apart from the constant barrage. And I take a lot of damage myself. A lot of damage, in fact. But at the very least, I got a little bit of scrap. So, yay? Another distress call. Don't mind if I do. I am being a hero. I was planning to be an evil pangolin this night, but it looks like 
The universe is just full of potential pangolins, and maybe the robots will turn themselves to be pangolins in the future. I need to help them be just that. Arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. As it turns out, I don't have proper equipment myself. Well, they are just termites, and the asteroids are just the ground, so if I dig out the ground, then I can reach the termites and eat them, so let's just murder them. I decide the pirate is not worth saving it far a few volleys into the hulls. Before I can scrap the remains, another pirate ship flashes on my radar. Perhaps they saw my deed, or perhaps they want to claim the spoils for themselves, but for whatever reason, they are charging weapons. A Zoltan ship, this is going to be a trickier fight than usual, but not necessarily an issue. The enemy does have a MP weaponry that will be a pain and oh, they're targeting my weapon systems. That is going to be a pain indeed, but hopefully not that bad. Let's start firing things up and it seems like my captain is having some problems as his room has been breached, but that is uh, still just fine, I should be alright here. And it looks like the enemy is burning, if I make sure they don't run away, I could potentially, you know, claim this ship, but yeah, that wouldn't be a very likely outcome. Let us go ahead and just grab all material they left behind, move my ship, move my crew back to their desired positions, and scales, that is your desired position right now. Close the doors, and move on. As I drink more tea, because I might as well, I feel like it. Ooh, NG colony hiding on the other side of enemy moon. Turns out they're excavating for an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War, and they suggest uh, it might be useful to lure the pursuing rebel fleet. Yeah, let us... Let us booby trap that cache. So this is going to be buying me more time and allow me to explore more of this peaceful sector. Good, let us go ahead and move on. No distress calls, that is a bit of a shame, but such is the way of things sometimes. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Hmm. It seems like we have an enemy that is refusing all hells. All crew, prepare for fight, for combat, for whatever is about to ensue. Doesn't matter, just murder everybody there is. There goes the enemy shields, and there goes... Okay, the good news is uh, that the rock takes no damage from fire. The bad news is that uh, my shielding has seen better days. Nonetheless, the enemy should not be able to survive for much longer, right? Right. I have clearly bested them, and they're willing to give me six missiles and a little bit of scrap. I would rather gain more scrap, but this will do. Six maybe I'll be able to sell those missiles later down the line. I need to let my captain heal up a little bit. And I might as well set scales to help repair our shooting real fast. As I drink a little bit more tea. And also heal up my rock crew member. Ah, uh, listen to this music. Isn't it just so relaxing? Also, my hoe is in the yellow zone. I was expecting better, but... I'm sure everything will be fine. There must have been rich pickings for the pirates around here up until the war broke out. The pirates I encounter here look worn down, but hungry. I'll have to fight. Another Zoltan ship, quite unexpected in the NG space, and unfortunately, it does have mind control. This could be quite annoying. They have n also fairly dangerous weaponry as well. Well, let us fire everything I can at their weapons. As I fear the weapons... Hold on a second. What do I fear more? Weapons or the mind control? I fear them both, but at the very least I can juke the mind control. And if I deal a little bit of damage to Neils, it should be alright. Alright, let's keep operating my systems and hopefully nothing bad will happen. 
Okay, the enemy shield is partially down. Let's make sure that I can potentially damage and delay the enemy mind control apparatus. Excellent, it has been disabled, as were the enemy weapon systems, and now the enemy is just sitting ducks. They are charging the FTO, but they will not be able to escape. The spores will be ours, gentlemen. The spores will be ours. Alright, let's get our crew healed up a little bit. Grab everything I can from the exploding ship. And be on my merry way. Scales has healed up. As the news accent now, I am ready. There's a stall nearby, that is wonderful, I'll certainly visit it. Just not yet, I want to get more scrap before I do. Alright, there must have been rich pickings for the pirates around here. And this is exactly the same text we just read. Alright, the enemy has pitiful weapons. Nonetheless, I should set three of my weapons to fire at theirs to make sure I entirely disable all of the enemy systems, as this beam weapon is not to be underestimated. Now let us disable the remainings, remain what remains of the enemy subsystems, and uh, I can attempt it to let them just suffocate, but I don't think I would be able to do that. It's going to be far easier to just blow this ship up. I feel like I need to, you know, invest in some teleporters and some other crew members, but there is a stone nearby, so this is all a possibility. Ship explodes. I got useful scrap material. And I can keep moving. As the music picks up into one of my favorite tracks, as it turns out. I can buy fuel, but as it turns out, I have a lot of fuel already. That being said, this is insanely, ungodly cheap. And I see no reason not to buy this fuel. So let us dock at this refueling station at once. And keep on carrying on. I can visit the store now, or I can visit it later. I still have some time, right? Oh wait, I cannot actually go to the exit from this side of the galaxy, so... Never mind, let's go to the store first and then go south. So, let us see what there is to buy at the store. A message arrives. Yes, Cap Ass, I'll weapon for you. And I'm about to raise my shields, when I realize it is just an NG trader looking for a trade. Wonderful. Crew teleported. I just talked about it, so this would be wonderful. Drone control. Not too bad. It would also give me a drone mark one. I do not have that many drones, however. I have a lot of missiles, but not so many drones. Also, this is very cheap repair right here, so I'm going to fix everything, because you rarely get such a good price. Interesting, considering that I'm playing on a hard difficulty. Those are some pretty good drones, by the way, I'd love to get them, especially a repair drone. But as it turns out, I just don't believe it to be worthwhile. I can get some NG crew members as well. Maybe getting one would allow Scales to later on be teleported onto the enemy ship. That is somewhat tempting. I can also use Neos for teleporting or for boarding action as well, but I wouldn't be able to afford all of that. Either way, Let's go ahead and buy scoops, and now I have enough uh, scrap to also get the crew teleport. Let's go ahead and get that real fast, and that is all of my scrap gone. Nonetheless, it was scrap well spent, let's power up the engine real fast. Set the NG, where is the NG? To work on the... To work on the doors, while Scales is going to work on our sensors. Now the... Our scales can also move on to the teleporting bay real fast, so this seems like a pretty good setup to me. Let us be on my way. There's another store nearby, but I wouldn't be able to reach the exit in time if I went over there. Let's carry on, shall we? A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. I have a decent enough party, so I could send an away team to investigate. However, it could be a trap, and I deem it to be too dangerous. And I value the lives of my fellow crewmates too much. So let's move on. Another store. Ah, I regret visiting this one now, but I could not have known that there would be another store so close to the exit. Let's visit another beacon, and this seems to be a fight. A rebel fighter here. So would seem to suggest the elements of the rebel fleet are already making cages on the engine space. I'm moving to engage. Well, of course I do. Hmm, 
Am I able to take over this uh, this ship? Let's see. The enemy has weapons that actually cannot be dis uh, cannot penetrate my shields whatsoever. So if I damage and disable the enemy O2, as well as make sure the enemy can't run away from me, so maybe by firing at helm, at the helm, I will be able to then send an away team and take over the ship. So let's get Nils ready for our duty. My shields should be just fine. Let's disable auto fire. Let's get the mounties ready. Let's lower the engine efficiency and let us move in. And kill the enemy captain. Okay, the enemy enabled uh, activated the O2 supply, but that is fine. Actually, let us uh, fight them in here as I fire all weapon at the enemy. O2 supplies, so the enemy will starve of oxygen, hopefully. I probably need to uh, beam my team away, but it is fine, the enemy cannot heal up. Well, I can, so I will. And then I will be able to take this ship for myself, and there's nothing the enemy can do about it. I'm not deliberately not firing upon them just yet, because I don't want them to panic and FTL out of here. Alright, my teleport room is ready. Let's fire at the O2 and let's fire at the bridge as well. Right, the enemy is trying to FTO out of here, but this should be fine. Let's make sure they can't repair their bridge and let's cure the captain. I wasn't able to disable their O2 supply, but the enemy crew, I mean, it has seen better days. And now it's been killed, no more lasses remaining on the ship. And I can strip it of all useful materials. That is lovely and a terribly, terribly, terribly awful hole for boarding action. Man, no wonder those guys had pathetic weapons. Seems like the rebel fleet never wanted to invest in them. I can hardly blame them, honestly. I can hardly blame them. Well, let's get everybody back to their stations, back to their posts. Enable the engines again and get right out of here. Into another store. Unfortunately, I was not able to make enough scrap to really make good use out of this. Stall, so let us see what I can... Oh! Reverse Ion Field. That is lovely. Shield Charge Booster. Again, lovely. I wish I kept my scrap, but again, I never expected this shop to be here. Well, can I buy anything useful? This fuel is relatively cheap, but there's no reason for me to buy it. I could sell some of my weapons. And get maybe an Ion Blaster. It has... A, what is its charge time? It's slightly faster than that of my weapons. Well, that is not bad, but honestly just having a bunch of basic lasers seems like a better idea. So I'll just move on and visit one last beacon before I jump out of this useless, worthless system. And I'll drink some more tea as soon as I'm done reading. I have jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by my screens and I can see, still see the remains of the dying ship sparking and breaking apart. It is hard to determine who the pilots were without close inv investigation. Well, pangolins are very curious creatures. They're not that much, they're not really, I don't think. But I'll investigate nonetheless. I scan the battlefield and find little remains. Disappointed, I prepare to jump. That's it! That is pathetic. Let us jump and let us drink some Earl Grey. I arrive to find what appears to be a colonized wound. However, scans show that it has been abandoned. I also detect an abandoned space station near the beacon. I could move in to investigate the station. I could stay near the beacon. Of course I'm going to move in. Oh. I dock through the station to take a look inside, however, no sooner do I open the airlock than the pirates burst in. Meanwhile, scarrets, scarrets? I mean scanners, pick up a previously undetected pirate ship moving in to attack. Intruders on board. Where are the intruders? I do not know just yet. The enemy ship seems to be quite pitiful, but I do want to disable their weapon systems. Can I board it? It would be a little bit difficult, to be entirely honest with you. Maybe I could, maybe I could. Let's disable their O2. 
I don't think I could. I only need to fire too many shots uh, to actually disable it. But I can try. I can try and it seems like a tempting thing to do. So let us resume and let's see where the enemy teleports. Do they teleport into my shield area? That is fine by me. I've got a boarding party right there, so it should be okay. I should be able to kill the enemy. They're using an energy to fight a rock. That cannot be too good for them, but I missed all my shots on the enemy weapons. That's suboptimal, but uh, that will be alright in the future. Alright. The O2 has been disabled. Wow, that was a really, really good hit, unfortunately. And my it seems like Scales has seen better days, but should, he should be able to kill the enemy. Indeed he was. Let's heal up a little bit. The loss of O2 is an issue. I'll get the energy to work on it. Let's open all doors to make sure that O2 is distributed equally among, uh, you know, across the ship and that the NG doesn't die too quickly. And that was my shooting. All right, let's fire another volley and potentially disable the enemy's weapon systems. All right, excellent. Let's move in my boarding party, make sure the enemy cannot repair their healing station. And kill what remains of their ship. I cannot fire, actually I can fire everything I have because the enemy has shields, so no matter what happens I should be good to go. Let's heal up a little bit. I still have no oxygen, which is a little bit annoying, but I can fix that real fast. The enemy is trying to escape. I almost killed them, but I didn't, and that is the most important part. And I should be able to wipe out their crew without any further issues. Right? They still have someone somewhere? Yes, they do. Alright, they're trying to fix a fire. Alright, that is okay. The fire... Oh no, the fire might spread and destroy the ship. Alright, I didn't even check what hole I got. I needed to run out of the ASAP because this ship is about to explode. It has one hole integrity and a fire currently consuming it. So we're about to see it blow up. Also, I need to fix my O2. I forgot to do that somewhat. My bad. Oh, well, let us make sure it is repaired. Let's move my people to their designated posts. I could wait and see this thing blow up, but this would be a waste of our time. So let's power the engines. And I could... Wait, that is the wrong thing. I could power up uh, my reactor, which is somewhat tempting. But I don't know what the next sector is going to give us, so let us jump first. I've got an uncharted nebula and an abandoned sector. Since this is the early game, I don't fear jumping into a hostile sector and it yields better rewards, so let's go into the abandoned sector. And drink some Arrow Grey. There have been a number of reports of advanced ships salvaging the wrecks and abandoned mining facilities in the sector. Could it be that lions have resurfaced? Perhaps they have. Perhaps they have. No nebula in sight. That is a shame I wanted to hide inside some nebula. Seems like I followed the bottom area of the map, but f or I could go up and into the bottom and then up again. Seems to be the most optimal way of doing things. Let us do just that. I arrived to find a large lion's vessel laden with recently collected metal. They are apparently offering to trade for supplies they are lacking. Huh. I am not using drones, so I am very happy with this exchange. And let us keep moving. There is a storm nearby, but I don't have that much scrap, so... I'm probably going to ignore this store And keep moving north. The more scrap I get, the better off I will be later down the line. I detect a refueling platform near the beacon, although its broadcast signal is garbled and I can't make out the message. I could hail it and attempt to communicate or dock with it, which seems like a bad idea, or just ignore it. Well, let us hail though. Hail them. That is... alright. There is a screech from my comm system and the broadcast suddenly cuts off. The platform suddenly begins to move, revealing itself to be a Linus ship. Unfortunate, what do they have? A hacking device and some basic weapons, nothing too scary. Unfortunately, boarding the ship is impossible as there's no oxygen on the ship. 
Let us continue. Activate auto fire and fire everything I have. They are disabling my. It seems like they are disabling my uh, teleportation room, so that is fine by me. I don't mind them doing that. Okay, that is a lot of damage I just took. Let us get the engine to help uh, deal with uh, what just happened. Man, this liner ship is actually pretty legit, I have to admit. But now it is about to fall apart and there is nothing it can do to save itself, thankfully. Good. I have taken a little bit of damage, but nothing all that uh, severe. The ship explodes and I can investigate the fueling platform. Looks as if the Lemaris were uninterested in the fuel reserve on the station. And there is a good amount of fuel left. I take what my ship can hold and prepare to jump to the next beacon. Wonderful. Another real good fight to take. I am very pleased with myself right there. I have taken a bit of hull damage, but nothing that cannot be, you know, a few dents. Nothing that a fresh set of paint cannot fix. Set of paint? That's a new way of saying this, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. Let's keep going north. Again, if there is a north in space. Small shadow appears on local radar and it is a stealth ship. It will get a shot on me at least. This will be an issue. But there is nothing I can do about this, unfortunately. Evasive maneuvers. All hands. Brace for impact. Right, my weapon systems have taken damage. And there is fire on board. My Zoltan is almost dead. Let's get him out of here. Oh boy, another missile is about to hit and it hit the door control. That is an issue, but not a terribly big issue. Let's send the Mantis in to help deal with the fire. The enemy weapon systems are taking some damage, but not enough, honestly. I need to keep firing. The enemy is also about to cloak. I probably should disable the enemy cloaking mechanisms ASAP. Alright, I need to keep people on shields and on engines as well. I need to try to dodge. Actually, shields do not matter at all, since the enemy is using missiles. So, let's send somebody in. Nice and easy. Another missile coming in. This is a painful one and another fire. Alright, hole at 75%. Fire is all over the ship. Uh, all of my weapons are offline. Red alert. This is the first time I rang leather red alert. Most captains ring leather red alert as soon as they encounter an enemy. But I... Well, I do not fear most enemies. Alright, I take more and more damage, but this should be alright. Let's uh, get my crewmen to repair more stuff. Alright, Zoltan, you go back to the weapons array. I do not need to pause the game so much. I am trying having a little bit too much. I'm sorry about this. So, things are being repaired. Wonderful. Let's make sure that I get shields online. The enemy ship has been destroyed. Good. My crew has taken a pounding and my ship as well. But at the very least, I collected a good amount of scrap and salvage. So, let's move my people to heal up. To get more oxygen all across my ship and then get everybody back on their stations excellent let's engage shields and uh, be on my merry way into a store so i'm very glad i avoided the previous store because this would have been a waste of resources and fuel and this store i receive a message from a nearby station the end is upon us. The metal demons have come to absorb your very being. But it's not too late to prepare for the worst. It appears that an advertisement for a space dock. I scanned for the products. So, very cheap repair. I'm tempted to grab that, but let us see what else I can get. Cloaking is absolutely amazing, but it would be hard to afford it. I would need to sell most of my weapons for that. Mind control, another amazing improvement to have. Destruction bo uh, bo boys, boys, bo destruction boys. That is how I'm going to call it. That is decent, but I don't think I'm gonna go for it. Zoltan should bypass. Hmm. Crew and bomb teleportation and mind control can work for super shoots. 
That is tempting, but not that tempting, honestly. Battery charger, not useful. What else do they have? Oh, Flak 2, that is the ultimate weapon of war. Hermes is also a very good missile launcher, and they do have missiles. Well, Flak 2 is definitely something I want to have. And I need to sell two basic lasers anyway, which will allow me to afford Hermes. And now I have a little bit of scrap left to repair my everything. So let's repair as much as I possibly can. Close this up and let us see. Now my, my weapon systems are heavily underpowered, which is somewhat unfortunate. What do I want to be powered most of all? Mm, probably the flak cannon, because it is a flak cannon. It's, it is pure awesomeness. And let's get a basic laser as well. Hermes is pretty good, however, but I only need it against super heavily shooter targets, really, and Flak is going to be very good against that as well. I probably didn't need both of them at the same time, but Hermes is just so cost efficient, I feel like I had to get it. Either way, the next bit of scrap is going to go into, you guessed it, weapon systems improvements. For the time being, let us jump to the next system. The distress signal is coming from a spo, spo, a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. The satellite defense system has gone haywire and the repair crew cannot approach without being fired on. They are looking to help to fix or disable it. Well, I cannot really disable it, I can just blow it up. I will leave them alone. I cannot help them, they will be angry if I blow this up. I'm sure they will be fine on their own. Let us jump closer to my pursuers, although yeah, this will be fine, there is no penalty to me doing so. Let us drink some more tea as, hold on a second. Tea has to wait, I discover an abandoned mining facility in the process of being acquired by the Linus. However, I immediately receive a call from a civilian transport vessel. Help! We were trying to escape before... Oh, I cannot do this. Oh, well, let's try this. To escape before the ladies came, only to be caught by the pirates. I see a lone pirate ship boarding the civilian craft. I can attack the pirate or avoid the conflict. Now, this is a powerful ship. It has two sets of uh, shields. It has powerful weapons as well. Teleportation and cloning bay. Alright, I can do this, but I need to change my priority, because of how many shields the enemy has, and how potent their weapons are. I'm going to use Hermes for this fight. Let us attack the pirate, charge my weapons, and quickly get the pirate ship's attention. Power and flak. Power up Hermes. And the basic laser as well. Hermes is going to target the enemy weapon systems, while the basic laser Cannot do anything whatsoever right now. I'll just save the power of, of uh, the basic laser. There's no need to teleport to the enemy ship just yet, honestly. So let us just hold my ground and see what happens. The enemy is about to teleport. Let's see where they go to. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm just going to starve this guy for oxygen. It's going to be wonderful. Alright, excellent. I disabled the enemy weapon systems and it is also on fire. I don't need to fire any more missiles. Let's start powering up flak so I can use my laser as well. Now, of course, my se shield systems are offline, but that should be fine. And the enemy quickly runs away after being stabbed with oxygen. That is to be expected. To be expected indeed. Let us re enable my shields and let us get my own boarding party ready. So. The enemy, yeah, I don't need anybody working with shields or the scanners. This will be fine. Let's get them ready to rumble. Power up the teleporter and let's go to the weapon systems to ensure that they can't repair them. So, flak is ready. Let's fire out the clone bay and let's get the basic laser ready to fire at the shooting as well. Ah, didn't manage to do this in time. That is unfortunate. Where did the enemy go? Okay, they decided to abandon their posts. Instead, go ahead and fight me in my home turf. Seems like a bad idea. I'll just disable the cloning bay. 
and uh, kill whoever's trying to, you know, board my ship. The cloning bay is gone, and the enemy doesn't have anybody left, so this should be fine. That is the last man standing, and he's about to be dead. And no more life signs are detected on the pirate ship. I hasten to contact the civilian ship. This sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your health damage as fix. Okay, I seriously should not have done this voice. I apologize to whoever is still watching this. Woo, alright. Uh, my throat hates me for this as well. Two hull points repaired, that is nice. I am not sure if I was damaged or not, but that is nice nonetheless. Let's get my crew back. Let's heal them up real fast. Get the NG operating the doors again. Heal everybody up and this should be wonderful. I will drink some more tea and be on my way, as I always am. Pangolins can never stay in one place after all, can they? Mm. I was hoping I could jump into this sector, but as it turns out, I am not able to do that. Alright. An image of some weak and hungry humans comes onto my screen. Those little bastards think they can just absorb half of our engines and leave us here to die. I hope you understand the need to take your ships by force. Oh, I understand it. I, however, do not appreciate this, so... I'm just going to move in my part, um, everybody I can, into this location. Actually, let us close everything except for those two rooms. And stop the enemy out of oxygen real fast. Okay, so those guys are now stuck, that is wonderful. Let us make sure that they will be forever stuck. And that they will never ever be able to breathe again. Oops, they are now able to breathe again. Well, my plans have uh, gone sour, but I can force the enemy to go into a place, to fight me in a place where I have the advantage. So let us do just that. Hmm. Well, that was the idea at any rate, but it seems like it's not going to work out too well. Well, let us make sure they cannot damage any rooms I cannot protect. And let's make sure that uh, I maintain the health levels of my crew. Alright, get out of there real fast. Wait, wait, you were supposed to get out of there, I said. You get in here. Why is Scales not going? Scales, you are... Oh yeah, because he's got no room to go. It Scales died! No! My Scales! My beautiful Scales! They're gone! Oh, this is a tragic loss. A tragic loss indeed. Oh, I... This is my mistake. I didn't realize this room was full. I mean, I sh this was plainly obvious that it was, but I didn't realize this nonetheless. I no longer have my scales. I am naked, flying naked in space. Truly the worst fate anybody can suffer. Okay, I'm no longer too able to board efficiently. I still have Niels, who is very good at his job. And you know what? In honor of scales, you're going to be renamed to Scales Jr. You're going to be, you know, wait, I don't want to just be called Junior. Junior Scales. Excellent, that is far better. So, in the loving memory of our gorgeous mantis that looked just like a pangolin, I want to rename my rock and uh, with a heavy heart, carry on. Can I go to the bottom of the sector and then go back to the exit? Uh, maybe. But this is probably more risky than it needs to be, so let's go to this sector right there and see what I can find. Even more intruders. And this is the exact same quest as last time. Well, where do they appear this time around? Okay, in the medbay. So this time 
I can control the door room, so this is absolutely awesome. I can starve them of oxygen real fast. So that is good. Let's send everybody into this room right there to fight them while I can heal up. While everybody else is going to suffer from the lack of oxygen. Now this advantage is gone, so let us close our rooms. Make sure I still have oxygen. Hey! hey! You get back here! Okay, somebody is going to be is trying to be funny and uh, dis destroying my shields, but well, guess what? I still have the advantage of being able to heal up. Well, he's still the smarter one, but don't worry about it. I have very good oxygen generation. Let us heal up, starve this guy of oxygen. Wonderfully done. Close all doors, equalize the oxygen levels, and get back to my posts. All right, man, I cannot believe I lost scales, senior. Oh well, such is the way of being a space pangolin. Let us move on to this distress signal. Uh, yeah, I should still have plenty of time to escape the sector if necessary. Drink some. I'm going to drink some tea and think about this. I immediately do a short range scan after arriving at the beacon. It appears to be coming. Uh, it appears to be coming uh, from what? I assume they're talking about the distress uh, signal. It appears to be coming from a small civilian vessel under fire from a Linus ship. Not all Linus are content with simply scavenging the wrecks of previous battles. Well, obviously I want to chime in, but the enemy ship is very powerful. That seems like a challenge to me. Let us go ahead and fight the enemy. I am moving to intercept the ship, detecting a greater threat than Linus prepared to fight. Well, of course they do, of course they do. They do have a hacking uh, weapon, so this will be somewhat dangerous. Let us activate the hammies real fast. I'm going to need it to destroy the enemy hammies. And that is all I can do. I really, really need to upgrade my weapon systems, but I just lack the scrap to do so. Oh no, that's... there goes my shielding. This is crap, and I can't even board the enemy ship because it is a Linus vessel. There's no way I can board it since my people just starve of oxygen and oh no, I wasn't even able to hit the enemy ship. Okay, they missed me as well, and I'm able to recharge my weapons faster than the enemy. Hopefully. Wait, I, I don't have auto fire, my bad. I mean, usually you don't want auto fire, of course, that is why I didn't turn it on. Come on, why do you keep missing? Alright, since it looks like... Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, Angie, go ahead and repair this system. Everybody go up ahead and repair my weapon systems. They need to be back online ASAP. And uh, because the enemy has real high invasion, let's make sure I can power up Flak. And since this seems to be the only way I can actually go past uh, what the enemy has. Let's pop up a basic laser as well. Get everybody back on their posts. Oh, this is bad. So, alright. I lost my senses and now there's a fire problem, but this should be okay. Let us uh, go ahead and prevent the fire from spreading. Vent the oxygen of my own ship and keep firing. This is a dangerous fight indeed. I did anticipate it to be as such, but oh. Now my engines are gone and even more fire, but scales should be able to deal with that quite uh, fine and uh, just fine. And oh, okay, this is this is a thing now. Everything is uh, being really crappy, really really crappy. Okay, I don't know if Scoops can handle this on him on his own. Let's send in the captain himself, the brains, to help him in his uh, help to help him deal with this. And okay. It seems like my flak is doing just fine. I need to pay more attention and fire my basic laser the next time I fire my flak. Okay. You need to heal up. I do not want to lose my crew member f uh, due to a random unlucky shot. So let's go ahead and f uh, power up the med bay real fast. And get ready to fire the basic laser as well. And wonderful, the enemy ship is now destroyed. Whew! That was a tough fight indeed. The Linus craft breaks apart. I hasten to make contact with the civilian ship. It seems the crew did not survive the assault. We shall mourn them. Everybody will dress in black tonight. I take what I can from the remains of the ship, however, because looting is always fun. 
Okay, I do remember that my hull has been breached in several areas, so let us make sure that I get a few people to get ready to heal up some areas of the ship, so you get over here, fix this breach, you're, they're going to take a little bit of damage because this uh, room is devoid of oxygen, but such is the way of things, I suppose. Repair the oxygen station, heal up a little bit more, and finally repair my... What are they called again? What is the subsistence called? It is called the sensors. Right, of course it is. How could I have forgotten such an important part of the ship? I do not know myself. Alright, it seems like there are no more hull breaches. No, uh, breaches? Breaches? Breach? I don't know. On my ship, so this is fine. Let us see where I can jump to in a second. My crew needs to heal up. I need to power up the engines, of course power up my shields as well and let's see where I can jump to another region I think I need to upgrade my ship however my weapon systems need to be able to fire more things at the same time they have they needed some re some you know upgrading for a long time some retrofitting it is very expensive to do however but I'll do just that I'll improve them ever so slightly just allow me to power up two basic lasers at the same time, I do have to lower the power to my engines, unfortunately, but I believe this to be worthwhile. Now I can tear through the enemy shields with no issues whatsoever. Hopefully. Let us jump to the next location and see just what I can find. Alright, upon arriving, I am immediately surrounded by chaos. A plant's anti-ship battery is firing on a number of Linus ships. One of the combat ships mistakenly believes my ship has arrived to assist the planetary defenses. Combat positions, everybody! And how dangerous is... Oh, that's flag 2. Red alert! Everybody, get ready to rub. Oh no, they're hacking me as well. They're hacking around the system, that is alright. Okay, let's synchronize my weapon firing. And make sure I fire my flag as at the same time I fire everything else. Flak is going to fire first, and then I'm going to fire the other two weapons. Excellent, let's disable the enemy shields, excellent. They disabled my... something, okay. And the enemy is destroyed due to my ASB, excellent. The ship breaks apart, I decide to salvage it when the opportunity arises. I finish off my assailant with the help of the anti shield battery, but the fight rages on in the distance. I best leave before I get dropped into this again. Indeed, that is the case. Scoops has been injured. Well, I cannot make this be a thing. Let us heal him up a little bit, get everybody back to the stations, and get ready to leave this dreaded place. This location will not be reached by the rebels this turn, so let's explore it real quick and see what bounty I can find. I passed a civilian ship that warns me of uh, the nearby lines. One of them attacked the civilian transport and started to melt their freaking hull. But then, the weirdest thing happened. Another metal ship apparently fired on its companion until it backed off. Apparently, there are disagreements upon the lines about what should be salvaged. Interesting. Let us move on to the exit. This was not entirely worthwhile. My hull has seen better days. I feel like aside from improving my weapon systems, I need to improve my shields and engines. Either way, when I arrived at the long range beacon, I'd, uh, uh, yeah, that's the usual stuff. So I see a civilian space station with heavy damage. I receive a message. We have been hit by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. I do have extra as it turns out, I do. Well, I could improve my ship ASAP, but firstly, I want to move on to the next sector. And this will be a pirate controlled sector. That should be an easy fight. Or rather, a series of easy fights. Pirates are not the most dangerous of them all. That being said, I need a shop. My hull is dangerously close to critical. A few Federation friendly planets still exist in this sector, but they are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector, so I must be careful. Very well. The stress call and no shop in sight. Let us... let's see what I can do. I could do... with a bit more power. This would allow me to have more power to engines. 
Alternatively, no, I cannot upgrade my weapon systems. I don't have the power to do that. So more power seems like a good idea. And I can also upgrade the shields. This will not give me another bar, another barrier, but this will make the shields more resistant to damage. So let us do just that. Except I will upgrade the shields to a second bar at some point, right? So I might as well do it. Let's make sure my engines operate at their full capacity. And let us go ahead and jump into the stress signal. Then I want to make a beeline for the nebula. Hmm. This would make it a long... This would take... It would take me a long time to reach the nebula. But maybe I can do this in time. Let us jump and see if anybody actually needs help or if it is a trap. Doesn't seem to be a trap. Once I arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails me. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest the depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? I am tempted to say yes, I am not sure if I will be able to do just that, but I already got a little bit of scrap for this. Man, this quest is really far away from the nebula. And there's no way for me to get to the other side of the galaxy if I go there, so I might be trapped if I do this quest. And I do not even know if it is worthwhile. Sorry guys, I'm not going to do this for you. I took your money and run! A real bastardly move, but I have to do this. This is for the greater good of me being able to eat more termites. Anyway, my sensors have picked up a refuge ship drifting through the system. No doubt, one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have det detected me, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Let us hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from me. They are running low on supplies and they suggest a trade. It is a shame, however, since I do not need any drones. I am going to politely decline and be on my way and make an another run towards the nebula. I want to get there as quickly as possible. Intruders on board, I catch a glimpse of strange signal coming from a space station before my sensors shut off unexpectedly. I, as I discover that my sensors are being jammed, I hear hostiles being to my ship. I'll have no hostiles upon my ship. Until I am able to jump away from the hostile space stations, my sensors are disabled. I need to deal with the borders first. All right. I don't know where they are, but they are attacking the O2. Okay, let's vent them into space. Let's vent them all. Let's vent them all. Alright, they're trying to break through. This is fine. This is not fine. They will break into the door control room. And I no longer control the doors. Oh well, I was able to deal a decent amount of damage to them. Let's move in more people into the healing bay. And make sure my, uh, my crew actually doesn't starve of oxygen. Alright, so this fight should be... I'm not sure if I'll be able to win this fight actually. Let us open all of these doors. All of these doors. And help those guys make a beeline to safety. Okay, you guys save... Uh... No, no, no! Stupid scoops, you're going to die! Okay, close everything. Power up the oxygen generation because I don't want scoops to die. If scoops don't die? Okay, he just barely managed to survive. I'm taking damage to shields and uh, the sensor array as well. And my crew is not healing. I'm going to lose the sensor array and take a whole point of damage. That is unfortunate, there wasn't much I could do about this. Now the enemy is trying to disable my weapon systems. Hmm. I will not have it, I will not have it. Claws and legs have seen better days, you run away and heal up. Man, I miss Chaos Senior, he was such a brilliant asset to my team. Right, but it seems like the enemy is now gone. And everything is operational again. Excellent, you guys heal up. Legs. Go back into the engine room. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. And once the crew is healed up, I can jump out of this dreaded, miserable place. I didn't even get a reward for losing this hole. Truly the worst. Truly the worst. Alright. Crew, get back onto your stations. 
And finally, let us enable my engines real fast. And jump right out of here. Into a distress signal. Hmm. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off a distress call. Should I investigate? It could be dangerous. But nevertheless, I want to search for it. It might be profitable. I find the decaying uh, remains of some ship coated with ice or crystal. Ooh, this quest. I was able, never able to finish it. It is very hard to do. I sent some crew aboard to explore. Nearly everything is either destroyed or un un blah, 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 blah. or un unidentifiable. But one of the weapons appears salvageable, and there is a chance some strange stasis pod that catches my eye. I can almost guarantee I will not be able to fix the stasis pod, but I just have to try. On the off chance I can get the crystal ship. It looks like a massive asteroid is in a direct collision course with the derelict ship. I have to pull my crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What should they take? <sighs> the weapon is better, but on the off chance I can fulfill this quest, I'm going to grab the stasis chamber. My crew drags the pod back onto my ship before the asteroid smashes into the ship, shattering through the crystal coating and destroying the ship. I've got the damaged stasis pod. And uh, it seems functioning, but there's nothing but shards of crystal inside. Perhaps someone else will know how to open it. Now, I'll be honest, I don't quite remember which, sec which sector I should, I should jump into to fix this. It was either Angie or Zoltan. Well, I'll probably not be able to find anybody to fix this, so it's not really a big issue. I took a chance, however, and maybe it will pay off. Probably not, though. Probably not. Let's move into a nebula to slow down the enemy advancement. It is hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. I have way too many missiles for my own good and will happily get their fuel. Let us keep moving and look for a shop, because I need to repair my hull. Alright, this will be a dangerous fight if there is a fight to be had here. I jump into the middle of a plasma hospital. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows. Briefly illuminated by landing. I can manually set the wreckage for survivors, or I can avoid the risk. Let us avoid the risk, my hull has taken too much damage already. I need to get out of here. So let us do just that. There is a chance I'll find another shop nearby, so let's keep jumping. Danger! Intruders on board, there appear to be a number of small stations nearby. Before I have time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel teleport was used in one of the stations, and I have been boarded. Not cool! Not cool at all. Let us enable the healing bay, let's make sure I have a lot of oxygen everywhere, and let us see where the enemy is. The enemy is right there, okay. You guys lock yourselves in the healing bay. Let's open all those aside from these ones and let's make sure the enemy cannot reach uh, my door control room too quickly. But this should be good, this should be good. So now it will be very tough for them to break into any of my rooms and while they're trying to do that they will lose oxygen quite quickly. So now this room can be closed so that my crew isn't starving for oxygen here. And the enemy is about to be killed, hopefully. Oh, no, they weren't quite killed. But they have taken a lot of damage and I should be able to finish them off quite easily now. Alright, you guys go back into your station scales, legs, and claws as I finish off the rem what remains of the enemy boarding team. Excellent. No reward for fending off the intruders, unfortunately, but that is how it always is with this kind of quest. Thankfully, I also didn't lose anything either, so that was a win-win situation in my book. Let's power up the flak. Let's power up the other basic laser. Let's get everybody in their uh, pre-designed positions and let us jump out of here. Into a store! I wonder what they have in store for me. <laughs> get it? I'll see myself off now. No, I won't. Not yet. A few small ships are visible on the vid screen. 
and the eye almost activated weapons targeting. However, sensors indicate that they are simply honest merchants. The pirates must be making me jumpy. I messaged them asking about the wares. Let us continue and let us see what they have. Ooh, FTL Richard Booster hacking his stun and Zoltan should bypass. Again, this is very tempting, but I cannot afford it. Unless I sell the stasis pod, but I want to try to fix it, maybe. Oh, and the whole repair is going to be quite expensive. I could also get another crew member. And Ryan Maniscalco seems uh, like a very good addition to my crew, but I can't afford this very good addition to my crew. I could sell two of my basic lasers. And even then I wouldn't be able to afford them. Let's just sit, let us just fix what I can and put myself in the green again. That wasn't the best uh, deal, but free uh, hope point repaired, that was fine by me. And now I feel way, way safer. Let us keep exploring this galaxy and see what else I can find. An asteroid field, unfortunately my shields are not quite good enough for an asteroid field. So I'll take undoubtedly quite a bit of damage. I arrive in this belt to discover a rebel automated scout has been stationed here. I need to prepare for a fight. Indeed I do. And they have stealth as well. This will be a very, very tough engagement and I'll take a lot of damage. I'm very glad I repaired my hull as much as possible. But this will hurt. This will hurt a lot. Okay, my weapons are now charging and this, this volley! Please don't hit my weapons. Please don't hit my weapons. Okay, my weapons are fine. I'm glad I put uh, some extra ability. I improved my shield system so that they are not actually disabled now. Okay, let's fire at the enemy weapon systems and then I will use basic lasers to disable the enemy uh, stealth systems if at all possible. So flag first and then some small things and I wasn't quite able to do this. Let's disable auto fire. I need to manually fire every time. And oh no, that's a lot of damage. Okay. NG, go back and help repair my weapons. Flak is essential and I need as many basic lasers as possible. O2 is damaged but still operational, so that is fine. I still have one basic laser ready to fire. Let's prepare the other basic laser to fire. Let's get the NG working on the O2. I don't want this to give out in the middle of this fight. Flak, disable the enemy. Stealth systems, if at all possible. Great. Basic laser fire at the enemy. Weapon systems, good. That didn't disable them though. Okay, this is bad. But I can now auto fire. So let's go ahead and do just that. All weapons target the enemy weapon systems. Make sure they cannot fire anymore with this powerful gun of that they just fired. This is going to hurt a lot. Okay, weapon systems have been damaged again. I fixed. Uh, O2 at the very... Look at the amount of damage I took. I was in the green and I'm almost uh, in the red. My crew truly needs to perform as well as it can in this dire, dire situation. Let us disable auto fire on all of my weapons. And oh, come on, they fired everything again. Okay. I need to disable the weapons so badly. Okay, fire this at the weapons. NG, you go ahead and fix the healing lab. No, never mind. NG, make sure the uh, engines are operational. And it seems like this asteroid might hit. No, it won't hit my weapon system, so it will be fine. Let's fire at the enemy. Okay, the enemy is dead. Destroyed. Okay, so excellent. Hole is critical, however. So while this was a very, very di difficult, intense fight, I have uh, come out on top. However,. Things could still be going a lot better. I'm going to jump ASAP. I will not wait for my crew to heal up because I can take even more damage if I stay here. Hmm. It looks like from this location I can still go to this location. So let us jump here. Hopefully this... Oh no! This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. Who did this? I want to see them and I want to fight them and I want to get them fired. Literally fired. Anyway, the ship will gradually overheat until I can get out of here, or until I die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. Okay. The enemy has powerful shooting, so let's go ahead and activate Hermes real fast. And make sure the enemy... Oh, they also have a Hermes. Okay. 
I should be able to fire before the enemy is able to fire, at the very least. So let, let us do that. And... Uh, and... Uh, oh no. The enemy is hacking my weapon systems. This is very bad, actually. Okay, let's repair the O2. I might need that. I might need to teleport, actually. I might need to teleport. Maybe this is the best course of action since my weapons have been hacked. Ow. That's my engine. But it's only been damaged. It's... Okay, this is going to be a big hit. And that's my shields gone. And this is going to be very, very bad. Mm. Okay, you. Help fix the shields. I was going to try to board the enemy, but it seems like this is no longer a valid option. Let's disable the enemy hacking mechanism, if at all possible. I can't best for the enemy shields, unfortunately. Solar flare imminent. This is going to hurt a lot. Okay, so there is a bit of fire in a few random places, but nothing I really can't handle. You help fight with the fire. You get ready to jump. You get healed up. All right. I've got a unit ready to uh, jump. Hammy is just fired. Excellent. Let's change the power priorities. Let's get flak ready. And let us power. Okay, Zoltan is operating the shields. He won't be operating the shields for long, however. Yeah, he won't. Okay. Uh, can you please power up the shields? I don't really have anything to power down to do that. I have a lot of oxygen. Let's power down the oxygen and then power up the shields because I'll need those shields very badly. And let us teleport. Let's make sure the enemy can't repair this uh, thing right there. Ow. I hit myself. I hit myself. I hit my own unit with a missile. No, this is the worst. Okay. Let's get out of there. Let's get out of that. I lost a crew member. I hit my own crew member. I hit Scales Jr. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I cannot believe I did that. Alright, everybody, get back to your original posts. Scoops, repair the O2. This is such a tragic loss. No, Scoops, you know what? You're now on the shoes duty. This is such a big loss. Alright, O2. And teleport, you need to get uh, this fire sorted ASAP. Right, so my flak is ready to fire. Excellent. Let's do that. And let's kill the enemy. Right, they are offering me a bunch of stuff. I will accept this because I am desperate to get out of here. Let's close everything. Start repairing everything, get more things uh, going for my oxygen generation. Alright, right now a solar flare isn't imminent, so that's important. I need to keep brains in home in case uh, the solar flare is actually uh, going to activate. Let's heal up my units, uh, my crew a little bit, I call them units. Okay, let's repair the O2, let's repair the teleportation station if at all possible. I am generating oxygen, excellent. So I fly imminent and I need to run. Okay, excellent. I was able to dodge it. I'm at one hole! I didn't notice that I'm going to lose. No! No, I did not want to lose this fight! Not like this! Not like this! I need to drink more emergency tea. A pirate ship was lying in wait in this asteroid field. It's crazy! It's also vastly superior to me. Mm. This is so wrong. Pause! Is Flag going to make it work? It's probably not going to be as effective as Hermes is. Let's use Hermes to disable the enemy weapon systems, if at all possible. Uh, scoops. Help, help with... Uh... Okay, I don't care about my teleporter. I need to have as much dodge as possible. I need to have... Uh... Oh no. The enemy has uh, intruders. And they are good intruders as well. They're strong intruders, strong, manly intruders that I don't know if I'll be able to do anything against. That's a mantis right there. I'll be able to fight them a little bit, but that's about the extent of what I'm able to do. Okay, you guys have that sun damage, now run. And that's all she wrote. I was trying to save my ship so hard, but I just took so, so much damage that Marks my fate. I wasn't the very best I could be. 
Unfortunate. I hmm. I shouldn't have. I should not have taken the stasis pod. I should have taken the scrap. It possibly would have saved me a little bit more. Scrap would have been better. Maybe I should have also stayed on basic lasers only. But then again, changing to flak and helmets helped me out a lot. But I think the mistake I made was. I didn't need to grab both of them at the same time. Just one would have boosted my firepower considerably and uh, it would have been enough and it would, would have left more scrap for other essential improvements. Lesson lad, it was a fun adventure however. Let's see the stats. Okay, which is this? Okay, let's see. The, the ship's best, I don't care about this. Okay, this is my uh, score for this ship. It's the very best I could have gotten, alright. Uh, previously apparently I did very poorly, which is somewhat surprising. Somewhat surprising indeed. And it obviously did not reach my uh, top score. Alright. My top scores are normal and easy, that is kind of pathetic actually, but to be expected I suppose. <sighs> that is it. Ladies and gentlemen. I accidentally quit the game. Thankfully, I'm still live streaming. I'm still live streaming a black screen. <laughs> um, I'll launch the game real fast, just so we have something in the background and some music. But I'll now say my outro. So, it was Panagolin Advisor, also known as Panagolin Advisor. I don't know why I repeated myself right there. Come on, game capture fix. Work. Game capture seems to not wanting. He wanted to work. Okay, I'll just end this. I'll move to stacking sunscreen. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this random super late night, uh, super late night live stream. I will be live streaming way more during the coming week because it is Christmas time, and during Christmas, what else can you do other than live stream some darkest dungeon? So those are my plans for the near future. I'll also change my. Hard drive into an SSD. I mean, I already have a SSD, but I don't have my Windows installed on it because it it takes a lot of work to change your you know installation drive, and I'm afraid of things going wrong and me having to reset all the settings. But maybe I'll do it tomorrow. At any rate, thank you yet again for watching, and I'll see you online. <laughs>